because I think that there could have been a second option for everything. And if the most popular thing in the universe was like hydrogen, when the universe was first getting made, that if that was an acting not from the outside of it interacting with things, but from the, the inside of like any embodiment that it was formulating, I think that that would make perfect sense if people felt that and they had to um, sacrifice animals in order for it not to weigh on them too heavily. But it's short-lived because the quality of the fish are not going to be the entire thing. You're just going to get bits and pieces of it. Which that's a catch-22 because the purpose of agriculture is to avoid additives because that's um like cutting the product so it's it's as though if you're fishing but then you're um using like an ex explosion instead of casting a line you're gonna get more fish if you explode the entire uh bed of the the, the water bed Farming, on the other hand, is meant to help people, and um, there's been like a solid structure that is made with like, you know, butter churns and then steamboats. Those are devalued. What if your whole day was oriented around making people happy? You would never be able to accomplish it with gift wraps and envelopes. You know, if you go inside a steam room and you blow really hard and you're looking at it under a light, you'll see like all these little like circles percolate out from uh, the slowing down of your breath and the pushing resistance of the steam. Uh, you'll see these little dark spots of air pockets in it. This is the same way that a shadow uh, de-evolves when uh, it's cast first, your body is there first. And so, what the hell? No animals were harmed in the making of this. I just wanna know if this is a piece of mold. That's a frog inside of a dead tree. And so when the, uh, your body's there first, that's how it casts the shadow. And then when a shadow is being uncasted, the light is hitting it and it's reading for the densities. And so it's slowly, if you do a slow-mo vision of a version of the view from a shadow D evolving, getting light shed on it, it's gonna have those percolations from the little pockets as well, from the, well, the resistance is the light. And so it's de-evolving that aspect, almost as an envelope would be opening and little parts wherever it's less dense would be the envelopes opening uh, there first. And so that's how an entire gift wrap, if we were to put it all in one action as like, how light's that quick, if you can actually just see that in real time, the shadow would de-evolve it, would look almost smooth. But in fact, it's no different than the little percolations of the envelopes opening when you breathe inside a steam room. You'll see like, it's almost like a cheese grater with all the little holes in it. And uh, it's in accordance of a cone because your breath is pushed out in a plume. And that's how a shadow would de-evolve in a screensaver. It would have each of those little envelopes as like moves that you take in the game if you're beating it or, or doing the right thing or hitting a dead end, those are all actions of the envelopes opening. Maybe the point of the video game is that you've already won if you're seeing the screensaver. The moment that you move is an act. And the more that that an act is uh, thoroughly like improvised, meaning the direction where you move the mouse, it's just unfolding out from there and all the moves are just a subsequent of the reversing from the end point. What if the whole video game was able to be written with all the actions in just one line of code? That would be as if 
you, the moment that you click a button or move the mouse on the screensaver, how do you do? Is then the screensaver then disappears because that's how screensavers are, are programmed as. But if that one action equivalent to the entire video game's action, you know, start to finish, if it's a puzzle game, that would be almost as if someone in a distance, you know, had a curtain call where they were standing behind something and it was diffracting them. They would be compromised because at a distance, it's fuzzier. But nonetheless, uh, the variancy of distance, if you're standing behind something like a line or a curtain that's going down, the compromise of the information being like more fuzzy is actually being diffracted because they're standing behind like a line or a curtain falling. Despite it being lackluster, it's actually built in complexion. The complex allows it to seem unique even though it's uh, dissident in the distance. So I would like to make video games, but I don't know how to program a computer. I could go on PowerPoint make a pretty picture in the paint program and it can start that out as a screensaver if you've got a screensaver and it's moving you are halfway into a really bad game which most games are bad to begin with that's why people get so angry when they play it it's the repetitiveness and that is exactly what screensavers are best at. So if you can make a really good screensaver, you're going to have a, a well-sounded game. Light scatters, but then it's collected if it's focused enough. It could get white hot. And when something is white hot, any amount of light is is able to get shot out from there. Almost like a blank canvas, but it's a literal physical object. When your skin gets tanner, where does it go after it, it doesn't get tan anymore? Does it spread out to areas that are more pale? That would be the opposite of an object obtaining enough light to get white hot as it spreads out the melanin that had already gotten too burnt from tan. Neolithic. This is something that is a new stone age. And why it's so important is that the Old Testament, they had to overcome something in order to gain the platform and not sacrifice animals anymore. Where nowadays, uh, being thought of improving is actually discrediting the initial standpoints of what made the platform initiate in the first place. Micromanagement is something that could be taken to infinities and beyond, such as with bells and whistles they're being overthought thoroughly for gadgets and gizmos when these gadgets and gizmos aren't even being used properly or else there would not be such a thing of overcompensating essential or non-essential labels because it would have been micromanaged to the T with no... With gift wraps and envelopes, you know, if you go inside of a steam room and you blow really hard and you're looking at it under a light, you'll see like all these little like circles percolate out from 
uh, the slowing down of your breath and the pushing resistance of the steam, uh, you'll see these little dark spots of air pockets in it. This is the same way that a shadow uh, de-evolves when uh, it's cast first, your body is there first. And so, what the hell? No animals were harmed in the making of this. I just wanna know if this is a piece of mold. That's a frog inside of a dead tree. And so when the, uh, your body's there first, that's how it casts the shadow. And then when a shadow is being uncasted, the light is hitting it and it's reading for the densities. And so it's slowly, if you do a slow-mo vision of a version of the view from a shadow de-evolving, getting light shed on it, it's going to have those percolations from the little pockets as well, from the, well, the resistance is the light. And so it's de-evolving that aspect, almost as an envelope would be opening and little parts wherever it's less dense would be the envelopes opening uh, there first. And so that's how an entire gift wrap, if you were to put it all in one action as like how light's that quick, if you can actually just see that in real time, the shadow would de-evolve it, would look almost smooth. But in fact, it's no different than the little percolations of the envelopes opening when you breathe inside the steam room. You'll see like, it's almost like a cheese grater with all the little holes in it and uh, it's in accordance of a cone because your breath is pushed out in a plume and that's how a shadow would de-evolve in a screensaver. It would have each of those little envelopes as like moves that you take in the game. If you're beating it or, or doing the right thing or hitting a dead end, those are all actions of the envelopes opening. 